He trying to kill my child, y'all. Daddy's unsupervised. I told you to come out there with trying him several times. No. You want to stay here and lay down. Yes, I'm trying to lay down because I'm not feeling well right now. Um, hey. Lord, thank yeah. God my child is alive and safe. Jesus. Okay. So you tell these people what just happened to my baby. What you just do to my child? I didn't do nothing. Yes, you did. So Savannah was playing with a little boy, and he wasn't chasing her or nothing. They had the little red soccer ball, the little bouncing one. But anyway, she was, it's a pool. So she could see she fell in the pool by herself. Nobody was chasing her or nothing. She decided that she wanted to run, and then when she looked back and turned around, she fell right in the pool. Um, she fell only on the stairs part, so it was the top part of the stairs. So she barely got in the pool. Like she, but she went over the little edge part, splash, fell right down, belly first. You tell the people into the pool. Is you okay? You okay? So now she's not allowed to go back outside. Thank the Lord. Mom on the move. You know what, everybody, all your fans, all your followers and subscribers and family wants to know about you being in Tanzania. What? They all been asking, how does the man look? How do the Tanzanian <laughs> man look? Oh, they're very chocolate. You have some chocolate, some brown skin, some little lighter brown skin. They're very handsome. Oh, so was it only like... A couple of handsome ones are like uh, half and half, majority. So, is it worth for the women of America to come find them a Tanzanian man? A Tanzanian man. Yes, but be aware that this is a predominantly Muslim, excuse me, society. So, they're allowed to have multiple wives. I think up to three mm -hmm. if they can afford them. Oh. But they can live separately. So, they believe in polygamy. Uh, so, if you weren't married, would you have you a Tanzanian man? Uh, yes. Oh, so, you are married. Would you have you a Tanzanian man? <laughs> no, because uh, my husband won't allow me to get a brother husband. <laughs> <laughs> wink, wink. Uh. <laughs> So, guys, as I was saying, my husband was asking me about the men out here, and I said they were very handsome. So, you have tall and slender ones, you have some short ones, you have um, guys that are a little chunky. There's not too many fat people out here, like, you know, pleasantly plump like ourselves. <laughs> Um, you want to see how mama's nice? I to go down for a nap. Say hi, people. Okay. And as far as the women, they're in every shade. Just like, uh, you know, back home. All of them have beautiful shapes. <laughs> I feel like, um, you know, uh, my mixture of my blood that was uh how should i say it uh slave master yes that's what i normally say the slave master blood didn't ruin my shape y'all in these babies but all the women out here <laughs> all their shapes the skinny women got beautiful shapes the thicker medium sized women got beautiful shapes <laughs> Even the women that are fluffy, they shapes are like the bomb. So I feel like, you know, that other blood that's in me, they messed up my shape. I could have had this beautiful African shape. Not saying that is absolutely horrible, but it could have been like the bomb.com. So, yes, um, for you men out there, there's a whole bunch of beautiful African women out here. Um, so I just feel like everyone, <laughs> black Americans and uh, black people in the diaspora should come. Molly wants to be on the camera, so I'll put it on her. She come 
to Africa and um as we were talking in our other videos about you know uncle kb he was telling me you know that tanzanian man african men are strong and they they take their natural medicines their herbs and stuff and they got to be strong for their women and the women their wives um say like if they have one wife and then they go to that wife and and they say like you know i want to get another wife he said you know you have to be kind and be nice and be strong and be able to uh deal with your husband having another wife he said it's okay to have another wife but it's not okay to cheat so for like like men running around or whatever and it's better for them to marry and just be at the other wife's house and it was so funny because he was saying I do believe in polygamy. Me and my husband, which maybe we'll do a video about that. We do believe in polygamy. That's not for us. <laughs> you know, God ain't put that on my heart that I need a um, sister wife yet. But I always joke with my husband and say, oh, you're going to let me get a brother husband? <laughs> so KB was saying as far as the women, if they want like multiple husbands, they can't because they have a cycle and basically kind of like you know what is far as sex as far as children like a woman you enter a woman or whatever a woman carries a child so if you believe in energy the the different man that you sleep with like you're carrying that energy inside you right and as far as the man, I know it's kind of funny and it's, it may be double-sided, but it's not the same for a man. Like, the man is not being penetrated. The woman is. So, and he was also saying, like, uh, you know, you have more than one wife. Your wife calls the the other wife and say hey is our husband there and i just thought that was so cute and funny and she said well yes our husband is here and he's fine he's resting right now or whatever <laughs> so um yeah and there's a schedule so you know you two days at this wife's house three days at this wife's house or and then two more days or whatever at this wife's house but if a wife is sick or if she needs you then you'll spend more days at that wife's house and take care of the wife and he was also saying that you have to be very loving and catering to your wives um and he said sometimes women that are very successful like they might have everything and they might have a lot of money and all of this stuff but they don't have a partner they don't have a husband they don't have children mom, yet mom, so mom, they need hi, yes me me you want to say hi Poopa wants to say hi so and so they need a partner to help <laughs> them you know financially um utilize their wealth and have a companion and everything like that um so yeah i, I think it's still good for all of us to come and visit and everything mom, mom, mom. Hi, get me. Get. oh she wants you to see her shirt happiest girl ever yeah, you show them your Peppa Pig in your dog, in your block, in your coloring book page. Okay. Mom, mom, me. Uh, in your pants, in your nice gray pants. Okay. You tell them how old you are. Mom, good. Oh, uh, and she wants you to see her blue beret in her head. You're so beautiful. You know that? That I'm a pretty girl? Yes, you are. Okay. Say bye-bye. Okay.